Now let's just jump straight into it and try to get ourselves used to some of the language that will be used when we talk about this. So we have a point here and we want to apply a couple transformations to it using matrices. Now it says that transformation T is defined by the matrix T equals 2 minus 1, 2, 0. And the point A is mapped onto the point A prime under T. The first thing we want to do is to find the values of A and B, right? Now, what do we know? Well, we know that we're going to, the point A is going to be mapped under the transformation T. I remember we said that whenever we, whenever a point is under a two by two matrix transformation, then we pre-multiply that point by that matrix. So that means our image A prime is gonna be equal to the transformation T times our column matrix A. So that means it's gonna be, let me put down T, so that's gonna be two minus one, two, zero. And I'm gonna put up A. A would be negative two, three. That's what it would look like rewritten as a column matrix. Now, to find my result, all I need to do is to follow the order and I'm gonna multiply this row by this column, okay? So that's gonna be two times negative two, that's negative, oops, let me use a different color. That's negative four and negative one times three, that's gonna be negative three, okay? For the next row, I'm going to multiply this column by this row to get what I should have right here. So that's going to be 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4, and 0 times 3, that would be 0. So that means my resulting matrix, which should be a column matrix because it's going to be a point, is minus 4 minus 3, which is minus 7, and minus 4 plus 0, which is minus 4. So that would be A prime. Therefore, A, which was the X coordinate, would be equal to negative seven, and B would be equal to the Y ordinate, which is negative four. Now the second question, it says that we want to determine the transformation matrix that maps A prime to A. What does that mean? Well, think about what we just did. We had a transformation, or let me put it up here. We had a transformation, right? And we had a point A, and then we moved it to A prime. So we transformed it to A prime. And now we want to undo that. We want to map A prime back to A. So in other words, we're gonna go back to that point. And if we're gonna undo it, that just simply means we're gonna find the inverse of that transformation. It's opposite or what undoes it. Therefore, the transformation matrix that maps A prime to A is going to be the inverse of T of T. So it's going to be T inverse. T inverse maps A prime back to A. So I'm going to have to find the inverse of T. I remember to find the inverse, we multiply one over the determinant of the matrix by the adjoint of our matrix T. Yeah. So first I need to find the determinant of T. So that's gonna be the product of the leading diagonal, which would be two times zero, minus the product of the off diagonal, which would be two times negative one, times the adjoint, which is basically swapping the terms on the leading diagonal and changing the terms on the off diagonal. So that'd be one minus two. Now, Two times zero is zero, and minus two times minus one is positive two. So that's gonna be a half times zero, one minus two, two. And when we're multiplying a constant by a matrix, we just multiply each entry by that constant. So it's gonna be a half times zero, which is zero, a half times one, which is still a half, a half times negative two, which is gonna be negative one, and a half times two, which is gonna be positive one, a regular one. Therefore, T inverse is this matrix, and 
the transformation matrix that would map a prime onto a is whatever that is zero half minus one one so we've been able to do that so far let's move on to the next part of the question it says that another transformation p is defined by the matrix p equals 0 1 1 minus 2 and we want to find the single 2 by 2 matrix that represents the combined transformation of t followed by p remember we said when we combine transformations we read them from right to left the product matrix is going to be from right to left therefore the product matrix will be p t okay therefore that combined transformation in terms of the matrix is going to be p t we know that p is 0 1 1 minus 2 i don't remember what t is so let me just go up and remind myself we had said t was 2 minus 1 2 0 that's what the question said i'm going to multiply this by 2 minus 1 2 0. now we know that we have two matrices multiplying each other so we're going to multiply the row by the column to get the entry right here so that's going to be 0 times 2 which is 0 and 1 times 2 which is 2 to get the entry right here we're going to multiply the top row by this column so that's 0 times minus 1 which is 0 and 1 times 0 which is also 0 next for this entry the bottom row by this column so that's 1 times 2 which is 2 and negative 2 times 2 which is negative 4 and finally to get this entry we multiply this row by this column. So that's 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1, and minus 2 times 0, which is 0. Now we can simplify. 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 and 0 is 0. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1. So this would be our matrix PT. This would be the matrix of T followed by P. So always remember, we read it from right to left for combined transformations. Now in the B part of the question, with that information, we want to find the image of point 1, 4 under it. Okay. So the image of 1, 4 under our combined transformation PT means that we're going to basically multiply pt by a column vector of 1 4 okay so if i write out pt we put down pt that's 2 0 minus 2 minus 1 and i'm going to multiply it by 1 4 okay so that means we're going to have 1 4 multiplying by 2 0 to give us the row right here and then, so if we work that out, okay, for that row, it's going to be 2 times 1. I should put that in red. It's going to be 2 times 1, which is 2, and 0 times 4, which is 0. So that's that entry. And then for the next entry, I'm going to multiply this row by this column. So it's going to be negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2 and negative one times four, which is negative four. So that's our resulting matrix right here. And if we write it out, two plus zero is two, minus two minus four is minus six, okay?